Hit me, Dee Dee. I hope I'm doing this right. I don't really know how to use technology. I have my tiny European coffee. That's the one thing about Europe that I just, I'm sorry, I cannot <laughs> get down with it. Because Mama had a lot of red wine last night, but I was with my Mama, and it was worth it. Um, I actually, I managed to get the stain out of my shirt. I don't know who um, knows about it, but uh, it was very upsetting. And I, I don't know why I was drinking red wine. I've been drinking rosé for years. <laughs> haven't diverted from there at all. But then I just thought I'd change it up last night. It was the wrong moment. Um, hi, guys. I am really sad that I missed the live tweet because I do like... I do love doing the live tweets. I'm just not good at being fast at tweeting. I like looking at all the, the memes and stuff. Um, because red wine is better. Red wine is great, but, um, red wine is not rosé, and I know it's very basic, but I love it so much. <laughs> uh, I am aware that my accent is a little messed up now, but that's just because I've also been working a lot for a few months, so, you know, it'll start to come back the more time I spend with my mama. Um, we went to a jazz show last night, and we also went to the opera. Um, it was really good. I love me some classical music, as well as, like, shitty pop and all that stuff. I love everything. Um, we saw Don Pasquale, and it was like a, it was like a reimagined, um, staging of it that was really cool. Um, I love where everyone is tuning in from. We got, like... Greece, that's cool, I'm close to Greece. I wish I had time to go and island hop in Greece for a while. I really love um, like Santorini, I went a couple of years ago, and Mykonos. Um, thank you guys for all your support with my, uh, with my ukulele cover. I usually don't share my music because I get kind of embarrassed and I just, this is something that I do in the morning by myself or at night. Or just when I'm feeling antisocial. Um, but I think I'll start to do it more. So you should send in um, requests. I see Janelle Monet requests. I love playing Janelle Monet songs. So, And I know pretty much every song of SZA's album. So I'll do another SZA one. Um. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll do... I have this really cute little patio here in Paris. Um... So maybe I'll do one out there later. Um, and I'm going <laughs> to... No scrubs. <laughs> That's actually a great idea. I'll do no scrubs. That feels right. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll, I'll do a cover out on this cute little patio. It's tiny, but maybe it'll be like a hotel patio series, you know? <laughs> Uh, I wish I could post covers on YouTube. I don't know how to work YouTube. I just got around to working Instagram and kind of Twitter. So, you know, I'm, I'm out here trying my best. Um, what did you guys think of the episode last night? I want to hear your thoughts. Also, send me, like, funny, you know, recaps and stuff so that I can retweet them since I didn't get to, um, do the Twitter thing last night. Um, this was our Brady Positivity episode, and we had the wonderful Tess Holiday come join us. Um, she is such a dreamy, dreamy person. I love her. Uh, I'll have to, like, do a little shout-out and, you know, let her know that I'm thinking of her. Uh, she came over, and uh, we were just, like, hanging out in the makeup trailer, covering up our tattoos, talking about like, all the things that we have in common. I think when I get back to L.A., I'm going to have to try to just be friends with her because Tess Holiday, if you're watching this, you're awesome. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm going to be traveling for a little while, so when I get back to L.A., I'll do that. Uh, but this episode, I actually... Um, 
was super excited about because even though I know we're, you know, three young, you know, pretty actresses, we're not perfect. And um, every morning when we get to set, um, we don't wake up looking how you see us on the TV. And I felt like that was really important. Uh, it was an important message to send. So, like, just so you guys are aware, we rock up at 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and then we have a team of, like, four people doing amazing hair and makeup for two hours. And then we have people who help to dress us. And they put us in the most incredible clothes and they tailor them to our bodies. And then after that, we go to set and there's a whole team of people that figure out how to light us and how to make us look the best that they can make us look. And then they put the camera in the right angle. And then every time a hair goes out of place, someone runs in to put the hair back into place and they powder us all day and they give us more contouring and more this and... You know, that's crazy. No one lives their life like that. So as much as it's fun, and it's TV, that's every single TV show you watch. I just am so proud of uh, the writers for, like, giving voice to that and kind of saying, like, you know, it's, uh, this is great, and it's TV, and it's entertainment, but it's not real. Um, someone just said Megan and Nicole were so great creating the tension they were really great I love that scene between them and I love how I love how Nicole played Adina kind of handling that situation and um I love how uh you know Kat's learning to communicate with her girlfriend because that's um that's really hard that's like the hardest part of being in a relationship for the first time and I think it's a pretty universal kind of thing you know when you're still figuring it out um, <laughs> I know my Aussie accent is fading. Don't tell me again. I'm so upset about it. <laughs> but I promise you, last night when I was drinking my red wine, it was out. It was proud. I was eating snails with my mom. My mom loves snails now. She thinks she thinks they're wonderful. Um. <laughs> Uh, where am I from? I am from originally um, the Gold Coast in Australia. It's like, um, it's up on like the East Coast, uh, kind of near Brisbane. Uh, I grew up in uh, this little apartment with my mama on, um, on a street called Surface Paradise Boulevard. So like, if you can imagine, um, like, Disneyland and Vegas and Miami, oh, it had a baby, and then they put it on this coast of Australia to make this weird town that, um, is beautiful, but is empty for a lot of the year, especially when I was growing up. In the 90s, it was, it was a lot smaller. Actually, every time I go back, it's so cool. It's grown so much, and they redid the the boardwalk along the beach. It's, like, very fancy now. It's super diverse, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I miss it a lot. I'm going gonna, gonna to try to get back there this year, but, you know, it's hard. <laughs> Someone just said schoolies. <laughs> Nelly! Hey! Our director just tuned in. He said hello. What's up, Nelly? How you doing? <laughs> I'm getting better at technology. So now I can do Instagram lives. And this is so much easier than tweeting. Because I'm, I'm better, you know, I guess kind of trying to avoid looking at my weird face in the reflection of my phone. <laughs> um, someone just mentioned Dead Gorgeous. That was like eight years ago maybe seven years ago i think i was just like 16 and that was such a fun show it was like for anyone who doesn't know uh it was about ghosts and uh getting possessed by ghosts and uh yeah i played like a boarding school girl 
queen of the school, which is <laughs> exactly what my school experience was like. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I'm just getting distracted by this great message. Um, So last night's episode, let's go back to that. Um, I really hope that everyone enjoyed it. And I hope that, um, you know, I just hope that uh, people got empowered by it. Because I definitely felt like being there and taking photos of of the things that maybe... uh, you know, at some point I felt insecure about, um, it was empowering to, like, harness that and take the energy from that and use it how I wanted to use it, um, because, I mean, I'm 24 now, but I still, like, some mornings wake up and I'm like, oh, God, like, you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, my face is bloated or whatever, and then other mornings I've managed to grow when I look at my face I'm like hell yeah my face looks like a moon and I love it and I love my thighs and I think that that's or I hope that um that that's the way to get through that because you know when I was growing up I was like I would look in the mirror look at my thighs and I didn't see anyone with legs like mine or you know with with some stuff that jiggled and it doesn't jiggle that much but believe me it jiggles and believe me Everyone has stretch marks. Everyone has cellulite. Even big supermodels have cellulite. And uh, even if they, you know, there's a spectrum of how much you have, but they leaves every day. I go through phases of leaving, you know, leaves. Not now. Not in Paris. I've had so much bread and so much <laughs> rosé. And I'll, you know... I'll probably go through phases with that, depending on how I feel. But, you know, if I could give myself any advice, you know, from when I was younger, I'd say, eat what you want. If you feel like eating a salad, eat it and don't apologize, you know. And if you feel like eating a whole bunch of cheese and bread, eat it. Don't apologize. Do what makes you feel good. If if, if it makes your heart feel good, uh... And you feel like you're treating your body well, and obviously there's a balance, and do it. Um, but I'm I'm not. I'm also not speaking from a, a place where I know everything, because I don't. I'm still very much learning, and I still have my days. Uh, <laughs> I want to hear um, what your favorite scenes um, from from last night's episode were. Um, I think my favorite scene... Actually, I really love Jacqueline's stuff in this episode with Cleo and the way that she is a crafty-ass bitch. And she's like, oh, guess what? She won't let me have my body positivity (laughs) issue that I'm going to do it. And she finds a way around it, you know? Um, I just... I'm, like, hella inspired by Jacqueline and think that having this kind of these these four different women or five different women I guess in, including Adina that are so they approach their, their, their lives and their um, life challenges in such different ways but I think you can find some of yourself in each of them and you can feel inspired by each of them in a different way you know um, the photo shoot was super fun uh we were kind of trying to figure out, because we really had to get in there, you know, and, and figure out where to put jewelry, how to make it look good, and, uh, you know, get to grab some thigh, and, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with how the photos turned out. I would actually like to get my hands on them, so Freeform, hey, Freeform, baby, if you're watching, uh, can I have those photos? I want to, I want to post them. Instagram, social media. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not spoiling the episode for anyone. I just realized I probably should have said spoiler alert. Although I think, like, photos. Everything I've mentioned is fine. I think. But if not, I apologize. <laughs> well, 
bro. You guys, I'm really glad I did this because um, this is this is much easier and better than um, Twitter for me because I can't type that fast, you know. I end up getting very distracted. Especially when I'm, you know, I'm trying to watch the episode too, you know. Um, someone just asked if there are a lot of deleted scenes. And yes, there's always so many deleted scenes. It's like kind of the nature of TV. They always cut a bunch of stuff just to like streamline the story. Um, there's one scene that I missed from this episode. I think, I think it's this episode, but um, it was this scene where Megan was improvising like, throwing out um, lines from The Grinch, the Jim Carrey version of The Grinch. Um, and it was really great. And I was just hoping that it would end up in there, and then it didn't. <sighs> I woke up crying because of that. <laughs> I want to see bloopers, too. I want to see them. So tell Freeform that you want a blooper reel, because I want a blooper reel. Or, I don't know who to harass, but harass somebody and tell them, like, we need it. Because I think it would be great. They would have to use a lot of bleeps. Um, but it would be great. It would be fun. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Um, I gotta go. But, uh, I don't know. This is my first time doing a live, so maybe I'll do another one again, when I'm more awake, and I've had more than just half of a tiny coffee, um, I gotta go start my day, I gotta go meet my mom, she's downstairs, eating croissants, so, um, I'll see you guys soon, all right, peace.